Hey guys, it's Garvey and I am back with another video and this is just going to be an everyday makeup look for you guys. So, I'm first starting off with foundation and I'm dotting that all over my face and I'm also going to blend the dots so that way when I use a sponge it's not going to soak up as much product so that way I'm not wasting any product <laughs> and I'm just going to blend it out with a damp sponge. Foundation is like the base of your makeup and you want the base to be flawless if you want the rest of your face to look flawless So take several minutes to blend the foundation into your face Take at least five minutes at least five minutes You can go until seven eight minutes, but you really want to make sure that the foundation almost looks invisible on your skin You think I'm done? Hell not fam! Blend this shit. Also, don't forget your neck because I usually forget my neck and it does not look cute at the end. So yeah. Next, I'm gonna conceal and I've kind of chained up my concealer routine. So I only conceal under my eyes and my eyelids and that's it. I feel like it brings attention to the right places and that's all you want. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love, I've been loving actually recently, <laughs> the look of bare natural eyes. So absolutely nothing on them, no eyeshadow, no mascara, no eyeliner, just concealer and powder. It looks so nice. I don't know what it is about it, but I feel like it adds like luminosity to your face when really you're dead inside. I don't know, but it looks really good. And of course, I am setting my eyelids with the lightest shade from the contour kit. And this is just going to prevent any creasing from happening. And I'm going ahead and setting my foundation and concealer because I find that it makes it crease less and actually it doesn't make it crease at all. So please do that. It's wonderful. And here I am setting my under eyes with the lightest shade from the contour kit and I'm using a stippling brush and doing circular motions that way the powder probably properly sets the concealer and there's no creasing that happens and everything looks flawless and yeah. And as for the forehead, I'm using a powder that resembles more my skin tone and I'm also doing a circular motion thing just so everything is blended and everything looks flawless and you can't see my breakouts as much, so yeah. As for the contour, I'm using the second darkest shade from the palette and I'm basically tapping it where I want it to be and then I'm gonna blend it out. Like for my cheekbones, I'm gonna place the product, see if everything looks fine, and then I'll blend it out. I also need to warm up the bottom of my face because I barely put any product there. So yeah, I'm also putting um, that same shade on my jawline and my neck. Also, for the forehead, I like to use the darkest shade just because my forehead is humongous and I really like it when it's more shadowed than the rest of my face. And this is completely optional, but I love me a sharp contour. So I'm just going to take a sponge and the lightest shade from the palette and carve out my contour so my face looks sharper and my cheekbones look bomb AF. So yeah, if you want to do that, then go ahead. And then for blush, I'm going to mix the brown and the pink shade from the Jaclyn Hill face palette. Just because I feel like it adds a nice glow. The pink has like a nice sheer um, glow type of thing going on on it. And I really like the look of it. So I'm going to tap it and blend it on my cheeks. This is no surprise, but I am filling in my brows with a black eyeshadow.
and of course setting them with the great lash clear gel i'm just gonna finish with a <laughs> wow the focus a natural pink shade on my lips i'm gonna tap that not swipe it because i like things to look natural haha <laughs> that's the girl who just kicked her face and i'm also gonna highlight my cupid's bow because i felt extra I hope you guys liked this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already and comment down below to let me know what you guys want to see next and i'll see you guys in the next video bye